Hello viewers, welcome back to another episode of me reading a tale of this book and its name is 5 Minute Bernstein Bear Stories by Jan, Stan, and Mike Bernstein. And in this video, I'm going to read, I'm going to read this tale. And his name is The Berenstain Bears' New Kitten. And it's on page 52. The Berenstain Bears, Mute Kitten. On a bright sunny, and I mean, on a bright Saturday afternoon, Brother Bear was hunting bullfrogs near the Bear family treehouse. Brother, brother hadn't. Brother hadn't had much luck. No, that is, I think, incorrect. But he was about to catch a big one. Then he heard a tiny meow, meow. It was a kitten. The kitten was trying to climb the muddy bank of the pond. It was so covered in mud that you couldn't tell what color it was. Someone else was hunting bullfrogs in the same pond. What you got there? asked Tuto from the bushes. Tuto worried brother. He was head of the schoolyard gang. Never mind what I've got, said brother trying to hide the little kitten. Hey, said Tuto, a kitten, a poor little shivering kitten. How about that, thought brother. Even Tuto has a soft spot in his heart for kittens. You'd better take it home to your mother, said Tuto. Here, take it home in this. He took off his hat and gave it to Brother Bear. Brother was surprised. He couldn't remember the last time Tuto did something nice for him. And look, here the frog jumped from this rock to the pond, to the water. Brother ran home as fast as he could with the kitten in Too Tall's hat. He rushed inside the treehouse and showed his family the furry surprise. Hmm, said Mama Bear. You go looking for bullfrogs and bring home this little kitten. May we keep it, Mama? Asked Sister Bear. May we please? Never mind about that, said Mama. This kitten needs cleaning up. She turned to Papa for help. Papa, she said, we need some warm water, some cotton balls, and wash rags. Mama went to work. She washed the mud off. She cleaned the kitten's eyes. She cleaned, it, she cleaned its paws. 
pretty soon it looked it began to look like a kitten not a muddy ball of fur little lady the family dog came sniffing around little lady barked whined and pawed at the table she wanted to see what all the fuss was about papa said mama picking up the dog would you please take little lady yes my dear said papa but first i think this kitten needs a name he took a quick look at the kitten's bottom she's a she he said so i guess we'd better give her a girl's name Oh and here it looks here it looks like grayish blue or bluish gray That made the cub's ears perk up You don't name a kitten if you're not going to keep her They both got excited about having a new pet around the house. Well, said sister, she's gray. Now that she was cleaned and dried and combed, she was a beautiful gray. Gray, thought sister. Let's name her Gracie. Yeah, that sounds like a good name. Fine with me," said Mama. "Now about keeping her. Have you forgotten that we have a dog? Though Gracie's a kitten now, she's she'll soon be a cat. Kitten, kitten are for cats, but for baby cats, and the word cat." are for adults. So if it's a cat, then that means that it is an adult and if it's a kitten, that means that it's a baby. Dogs and cats don't always get along. Your mama's right, said Papa. Let's introduce them right now and find out. Little lady was underfoot again, sniffing around. Papa picked her up. He held her. Papa picked her up. He held her close to Gracie. Little lady snarled. Uh oh, thought brother. They're not going to get along. Like he's biting his fingernail, he's biting his nail. Little lady bared her teeth, but Gracie was not frightened. She reached out and popped little lady on the nose with her type sh- sharp with her tiny sharp claws. Little lady ran away. Hmm," said Papa. "I think they're going to get along fine." What about Gracie and Goldie, our goldfish? Asked brother. Goldie is the goldfish. Here's Goldie. That's Goldie, because it's a goldfish, and that's why they named it Goldie. I wouldn't worry," said Papa. "Little lady loves Goldie. She'll protect her. Yeah, it's it's little lady's job to protect Goldie because cats eat fish." 
and maybe they don't want Goldie to to go inside Gracie's tummy. <laughs> Gracie was now all clean, dry, and calmed. Her fur was soft and fluffy. She was very beautiful. So I guess we've got a new kitten, said Mama. Yippee, cried brother and sister. Later that day, the bear family took Gracie to the vet to be checked. Little lady went with them. Her tail was between her legs. Her tail was between her legs. She looked unhappy. The vet checked Gracie from head to toe. She's fine. A healthy kitten, said the vet, but I do have a prescription for a little lady. He wrote something on a piece of paper. It read, Prescription. Little lady might be jealous at first, so give her at least 20 extra hugs a day. The whole family gathered around Little Lady. Sister Bear and Brother Bear lifted her into their arms. Right then, and there, Little Lady got her first big hug of the day. Mew, mew, said Gracie. Here's Little Lady's tail. So Little Lady's tail is... <clears throat> the little lady's tail is between her back legs. And yeah, it does look unhappy. The end. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, click to subscribe and don't forget to and give Click to subscribe and give me a like. You cannot click the bell because this video is for kids. And videos for kids won't receive notifications. Bye!